Okay, on YouTube. Michael again with his Ultimate Sensor Board. And uh, I finished the through plating process. See all those through plates here, all done. A hell of a lot of work. But it's done now. And now I'm soldering a chicken food devices. Oh, batteries are almost empty. Let's do a few. Um, let's This is a hundred, this is a hundred, and this is a hundred, and this is a hundred. Just wanted to know. Okay. I use uh, this dispenser. It's a syringe, which is air pressure. Well, with my pneumatic dispenser, and in there is all the paste. Um, that's one of them tricks here. I do believe oh, that paste is the best way to solve those devices. First I paste it, and then I place the device, this little cap, hold it in place, eh, okay. solder it, In Germany we have a saying that says das Auge ist mit, which means the eye is eating as well. <laughs> now the paste I use is quite old and way over the MHD. And after I sold the device uh, with the tweezers, I remove the remaining wrap. It makes cleaning a little easier afterwards. Uh, yep. It's foot pedal control. is really small and could happen that I'm in the way. It's a little hard to judge. Mm. One of the advantages of using solder paste uh, for those devices is that the paste holds it in place a little. It's sticky.
I usually start with the 100 uh, nanofarad uh, capacitors because yeah, used the most. And then I go to any other device. Uh, means I don't have to to change around so that. Uh, and everything. It's all very crowded here. Yeah, this one. Let's do one more. Smallest thing I do is 06, 03, this is 08, 05. Um, beyond that, I mean, beyond 06, 03, it gets a little too. It doesn't make a lot of, of sense, especially for resistors, which is only 64 millivolts. Sometimes you have to correct it. I mean, I, I, I did mount the power part first because I wanted to try it out. I was doing the rest. <laughs> 